一人で歩くのが大変ならレムが支えます荷物を分け合ってお互いに支え合いながら歩くかっこいいところを見せてくださいスバルくん Oh, yeah, about that. When I said I like girls with blue hair, I was actually talking about Hakua. <laughs> It's not what it looks like. Konnichiwa, mina san, genki desu ka? I'm Rem, I mean Dave, and today we're taking a look at Best Girl Rem from the anime ReZero Life in a Different World. Working as a maid together with her twin sister Ram, Ram is soft spoken and very protective of those around her. And should you cross her, prepare for the fight of your life. Here is Rem unboxed, and starting off with her faceplate, she comes with her standard subdued expression that is pretty cute, but that is followed by the much more adorable smiling expression that is just way, way too cute, and that is followed by her I'm gonna fucking rip out your guts expression that is just. Bloody freaking awesome. For accessories, since Rem is a maid, she comes with a small tray as well as several different arm and hand parts. She also comes with a front alternate hair piece that shows off her horn and a piece of her hair sticking out, which is pretty cool. But the coolest aspect of Rem's Nandroid is that she comes with two variations of her main weapon, the Morningstar one with a fixed chain and the other with a real chain. Now, how freaking awesome is that? Here is Rem looking as beautiful as always, and what I love about this Nandroid is just how beautiful her Nandroid is designed. She just looks so elegant and so pretty. I think my favorite aspect of Rem's Nandroid are the flower band in her hair and also that purple bow. It just looks so pretty. And I love the way her dress kind of flows right behind her. That is a pretty cool design. I also love that Rem can look soft spoken, but she can also have a really beautiful smile as well. But as beautiful as Rem is, it's probably best not to piss her off. So here is Rem with her signature weapon, the Morningstar, and this version of it has a real chain, which is probably one of the coolest aspects of her Nendroid. I mean, look at it! It's so friggin' awesome! <laughs> With that said though, there's not really that much way of posability. I mean, you could kind of like wrap it around her, and I guess she still looks dangerous. Oh, you can even swing this thing around. God damn it! Wow. God damn it! Now, if you do manage to piss Rem off, you better get the hell out of there, because once Rem goes berserk, it is over for you. And that is something Subaru learned the hard way. Now, as cool as Rem's weapon is with a real chain, like I said, there's not much in way of posability, which is why she comes with a static chain, which looks so much cooler because it allows you to have a much more intense dynamic pose. This is just such a cool pose for a n e n d r o i d I just love that her horn is sticking out, and I also love the added piece of the hair on top. That is really cool, and it's nice that it is a separate piece. And oh man, her facial expression is awesome and so freaking scary. I love that she comes with an alternate hair part because now it allows you to see both of her eyes, and they are just staring at you so deep and so intensely. It is absolutely terrifying. And if I saw Rem coming at me looking like this, I don't care if she's the best girl, I'm gonna be shitting myself. And note, this pose wasn't too difficult to put together, but it did take some time, so be patient and eventually you'll get it. Overall, I love Rem's Nendroid. She turned out fantastic. She is absolutely beautiful and stunning and terrifying all at the same time, and that is a testament to her character from ReZero. Of course, I may be a bit biased because she is my best girl after all. 
Speaking of ReZero, if you guys have not seen the anime, I have pretty mixed feelings on it. I do love the supporting cast as well as Rem and Amelia, but boy do I hate the main character Subaru. Which kind of works out because we get to see him die a lot and it's kind of awesome because he is the worst. So I do recommend you guys check out ReZero because even though it revolves around an old cliched anime fantasy trope, it still manages to stay really interesting and you do not know where that anime is going to next. Alright, so that is going to do it for me here today. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Johnny! Oh.